Hello everyone. Today in the lecture series on biochemistry of cancer, we are going to study about molecular basis of cancer. At the end of this session, you should be able to explain various mechanisms of carcinogenesis. Carcinogenesis is also called as oncogenesis. It is a mechanism of induction of cancer. It is a gradual multi-step process involving many generations of cells. The cancer cells are genetically and phenotypically transformed cells having phenotypic features of malignancy like excessive growth, invasiveness and distance metastasis. Normal cell growth is under genetic control by four important regulatory genes. First one is growth promoting oncogens. Second are growth inhibiting genes or tumor suppressor genes. They are also called as anti-oncogenes. Third are genes regulating apoptosis and fourth is DNA repair genes. The abnormalities in these four genes results in carcinogenesis. So, activation of growth promoting oncogenes, inactivation of tumor suppressor genes, alteration in genes regulating apoptosis and defective DNA repair genes are the important mechanisms of carcinogenesis. So let's begin with the first mechanism of carcinogenesis that is activation of growth promoting oncogenes. So let's first understand what are these oncogenes and proto-oncogenes. How these proto-oncogenes are activated to form oncogenes and what is the mechanism of action of these oncogenes. What are proto-oncogenes? These are the normal genes which stimulate cell division. Cellular proto-oncogen code for number of proteins for example growth factors, receptors, transcription factors and other proteins involved in cell proliferation. And uh, these proto-oncogens are responsible for normal cell growth. But when these proto-oncogens get mutated by various mechanisms like point mutations, deletions, chromosomal translocation and gene amplification they become oncogenes. And these oncogenes are the genes which are capable of causing cancer. And when these oncogenes are expressed, they result in the formation of oncoproteins. And, and there is a formation of mutated version of all growth factors and receptors. And it ultimately results in malignant growth of cells. So oncogene can be defined as an altered gene the product of which acts in a dominant manner to accelerate cell growth or cell division. Proto-oncogenes are activated to form oncogenes by various mechanisms like promoter insertion, enhancer insertion, chromosomal translocation, gene amplification and point mutation. The first mechanism of activation of proto-oncogenes into oncogene is promoter insertion mechanism. Uh, this is a schematic representation of host genome having C MYC gene here. It is in the inactive state and it can it is it leads to transcription of MYC mRNA. But when retrovirus infects host cell, the single stranded RNA of retrovirus is transcribed into single stranded DNA by the action of enzyme reverse transcriptase. And then again this single standard DNA is uh, there is formation of complementary DNA to form double standard DNA. And this double standard DNA is now called as provirus. And this viral genome now has long terminal repeat sequences which can act as either promoter or enhancer. What is promoter? Promoter is a sequence of DNA which is needed to turn a gene on or off. The process of transcription is initiated at promoter and they are usually found near the beginning of a gene. So when this uh, DNA genome or viral genome uh, integrates into a host genome, this enhancer region activates this C-MYC and there is vigorous or vigorous transcription of MYC mRNA occurs. So this is how promoter insertion leads to activation of proto-oncogene into oncogene. Likewise, in the enhancer uh, insertion mechanism, Enhancer sequences are the regulatory DNA sequences which enhance the transcription of associated gene. So here also in the host genome, the viral genome is integrated. It acts as enhancer and it leads to 
vigorous transcription of meek mrna this is how both mr uh, promoter insertion and enhancer insertion leads to activation of proto oncogene into oncogene chromosomal translocation occurs in burkitt's lymphoma it is a cancer of b lymphocytes two chromosomes are involved here there is translocation between occurs between two chromosome chromosome 8 and 14 MIC gene is present in the long arm of chromosome 8 and IgG H gene is present in the long arm of chromosome 14 so the terminal segment of long arm of chromosome 8 breaks off and it translocates to chromosome 14 and reverse process moves a small segment from chromosome 14 to chromosome 8 so the MIC gene which was earlier in the chromosome 8 is now translocated to chromosome 14 and it is placed adjacent to the gene trans transcribing the heavy chain of immunoglobulin molecule so this mig gene transcription is now activated by this potent immunoglobulin h gene enhancer and this is how chromosomal translocation leads to activation of proto oncogene into oncogene chromosomal translocation also occurs in chronic myeloid leukemia which involves two chromosome chromosome 9 and 22 ABL gene is present in chromosome 9 and BCR is present in chromosome 22 the terminal segment of uh, long arm of chromosome 9 splits off and it translocates to chromosome 22 and reverse occurs uh, the segment from chromosome 22 splits and then uh, joins to the chromosome 9 and this chromosomal translocation now leads to change in both the chromosomes so this chromosome 22 now ha is having both bcr and abl regions and it is called as philadelphia chromosome fourth mechanism is gene amplification normally uh, the copies of genes are transcribed and then translated to form normal proteins and there is controlled cell growth but in case of amplification many more copies of genes are formed than normal and it ultimately results in increased protein activity and uncontrolled cell growth so this is how gene amplification also plays a major role in activation of proto oncogene into oncogene mutation is a change in nucleotide sequence of dna and point mutation is a important mechanism of activation of proto oncogene into oncogene this is the original sequence of dna where you can see this is a thymine and when point mutation occurs this thymine is replaced by cytosine and the classic example of point mutation is ras oncogene now let's study the mechanism of action of oncogenes for that we need to understand how normal cell respond to growth factors when a growth factor interacts with growth factor receptor it leads to activation of binding protein it can be a tyrosine kinase enzyme and the inactive ras uh, which is associated with the cell membrane uh, becomes activated and uh, this activated uh, ras uh, protein then activates the raf or map kinase pathway or pi3 kinase pathway and it leads to transcription of uh, genes which are involved in cell cycle progression so this is how the cell responds to the growth factor and this oncoprotein they can affect this cell cell signaling pathway at any level it can affect at the level of growth factor or growth factor receptors or anywhere in the signal transduction uh, pathway or Uh, by altering the transcription factors this table shows oncogene type of cancer and gene modification in chronic myeloid leukemia the oncogene involved is abl and gene modification is translocation in burkitt's lymphoma mic oncogene is involved and gene modification is translocation in small cell lung cancer mic oncogene is involved and it occurs by uh, gene amplification in neuroblastoma also occurs by uh, gene amplification and and mic oncogene is involved bladder cancer colon cancer and acute myeloid leukemia the gene modification involved is mutation and the oncogene involved is ras second mechanism of carcinogenesis is inactivation of tumor suppressor genes tumor suppressor genes are also called as anti oncogenes 
and they inhibit cell growth and proliferation uh, the important examples are retinoblastoma gene and p53 genes retinoblastoma gene is the first discovered tumor suppressor gene it is located on chromosome 13 it retinoblastoma is a childhood tumor with inactivation of this gene and this gene has a role in cell cycle regulation and it controls the progression of cell from g1 to s phase Retinoblastoma protein is a product of retinoblastoma gene and it is a transcriptional repressor it regulates cell cycle by binding to transcription factor E2F Second tumor suppressor gene is P53 gene uh, and this is located on 17 chromosome and it is first discovered in 1979 it is located in almost all normal tissues it is unstable and degrades very quickly it is one of the most mutated gene in cancer functions of p53 gene it is involved in the regulation of cell cycle uh, it regulates uh, the cell cycle at g1 and g2 checkpoint it is involved in the dna repair and apoptosis it prevents neoplastic transformation either by cell cycle arrest or by triggering apoptosis functions of both tumor suppressor gene retinoblastoma and p53 have been discussed in video on cell cycle regulation and the link is given in the description box so oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes are the drivers of cancer and balance between factors stimulating and inhibiting cell growth is important if this balance is lost it results into carcinogenesis this oncogenes are uh, involved in the promotion of cell growth and division as we already discussed and the, the, the action of oncogen is compared with the car accelerator uh, the oncogenic effect is due to gain of function of protein that stimulate growth and proliferation and mutation in one of the allele is sufficient to produce oncogenic effect that's why it is called as one hit effect uh, and mutation in oncogen arise in somatic cells and hence not inherited while tumor suppressor genes are the normal genes which inhibit cell growth and division and the action is compared to car brakes and oncogenic effect is due to loss of function of protein that inhibit cell growth and proliferation uh, the mutation in both the alleles is required to produce oncogenic effect and that's why it is two hits hypothesis or two hits mechanism and a uh, mutation in tumor suppressor genes may be present in both germ cells and somatic cells and hence it can be inherited the third mechanism of carcinogenesis is alteration in genes regulating apoptosis apoptosis is a programmed cell death when dna damage is not repairable p53 gene induces uh, the bcl2 gene family that is pro apoptotic genes like bax and bac and this gene then induce apoptosis by mitochondrial pathway but when there is mutation in p53 and uh, bax bac gene the uh, it cannot induce apoptosis so the cell progresses with the damaged dna and uh, it leads into malignant transformation of cells for more details please refer to video on apoptosis and the link is given in the description box the fourth mechanism of carcinogenesis is defective dna repair genes so if dna repair genes are defective then cell progresses with the damaged dna and it ultimately leads to malignant transformation of cells let's summarize the topic DNA damage is central to the causation of cancer and if DNA damage is not repairable it leads to mutations mutations can be inherited or can be acquired from various carcinogens like chemical physical and biological and these mutations lead to changes in important regulatory genes of normal cell growth and proliferation like it leads to activation of growth promoting oncogenes inactivation of tumor suppressor genes alteration in genes regulating apoptosis and defective dna repair genes so these four important mechanisms explains the molecular basis of carcinogenesis in the next video we will study about tumor markers thank you for watching